now we have to create legs. Again, I will draw reference planes. You see that there's a lot of lines already there and they are all green uh, with the same style. Uh, we can create a new sub subcategory in order to differentiate a little bit and um, reduce our eye strain. Uh, so I will create a new subcategory for, um, for this reference planes and call it, for example, table legs. This is just for us to, to make our work more convenient. I will change the color of it and you see now it clearly stands out in the view. So I will continue and drawing reference planes. Another one here. Sorry, I need to select from the list table legs. I don't pay much attention on the position of it. I just want, want it to be inside of the drawn uh, tabletop rectangle. Now I can create a dimension, but be careful to which part uh, you dimension. Now the, the geometry of extrusion overlaps the reference plane, but we want to constrain everything to reference plane. This is more clear method. Okay, so I have here and the last one would be here. And now I can select multiple dimensions and create a new parameter. So I would call it um, distance. Let's call it this way, right? And uh, make an, an, an equal volume. Okay. But let's say um, this value also uh, same as uh, tab table of thickness will not be modified. It will be also a constant value on 120. Do I have to really create a parameter in order to control it? Of course, no. Uh, I can work, I can show you another way of constraining the project by closing the padlock on the dimension. So. I will go back and delete this. Okay. And create again dimensions. And you see there is also a padlock available be, uh, underneath the dimension. So I will lock it. You see, uh, there is uh, a warning locking this dimension wall would over constrain the sketch. The problem is that I am trying to, um, to lock the dimension on the same reference lines. You see, I already uh, locked here, so I cannot lock twice the same reference planes. So um, Revit has a reason to, to show me this warning. So one, two, three, four, I don't have anything here, I guess. I also lock it. You see there's a padlock everywhere. And I think it's a, a good idea to now test the whole family. You don't have to wait with testing uh, after you finish the whole family. This is not a good method. It's good to have an intermediate steps where you We'll try if everything uh, works correctly. Okay, this worked. And height, let's call it, I know, 800. Apply. If there was no warning, it means that everything works correctly. 